Hey guys, Powell Tales here, and this time I'm here with a quick group of announcements, and I'm redoing my review of the Super Pack because I thought the last one was pretty crappy, didn't help much. So, yes, as in my channel description, Sonic's Random Adventures is going to be scrapped in its current condition, which is crap, and it's going to be redone with the ideas that I got from you guys, which are coming in and some of them I think are really creative or I just have some of the worst ideas when it comes to making a mainstream series for Sonic Stop Motion. But anyway, yeah, I haven't started working on those two stop motions yet, but they're all planned out, so they'll be here by the end of the break and which for me is January 3rd, but if they aren't, oh well, color me lazy, but that's the way it's going to be. Okay, so this is the Jazzwares Sonic the Hedgehog Super Pack. So, to begin, I'm going to go over the box, as usual. Nice title, the plastic insets holding characters on the inside. Labels for Super Silver, Super Sonic, and Super Shadow, if you want to hold them in display or whatever. The warning, the age rating, Sonic's artwork. Let's see. And these stock modified stock arts for Super Sonic, Super Silver, and Super Shadow. Also on the side is the stock art of Super Sonic on both of these ends. And really on the inside there's this thing of the Chaos Emeralds that looks like some Sonic X era drawing. So this is a nice display case. Now that that's over, time to get into the figures themselves. In terms of sculpt, each character shares similarities and differences with their normal counterpart. For example, in the case of Sonic, while Super Sonic has his spikes going up in all the appropriate places in the Sonic Unleashed format, Sonic his little old blue self just has the spikes going down and the also in the Sonic Unleashed form present in Sonic Unleashed and also in Sonic Colors. As for Shadow, the only difference between his super form and his normal counterpart is a simple color change. Everything else is almost exactly the same except for the white shoe bottoms. I don't know if you can see that under the stand. With Super Silver, there are quite a few differences. As you, see, as you can see, Jazzwares did a lot, put a lot of effort into sculpting, and they created a figure that has now turned up spikes, the red eyes trademark, and darker shoes with the gold cuffs in comparison to Silver. Now that I've done with the basic differences between the normal figures and the super figures, I'm going to give you a close-up of each figure and its articulation. Sonic. Like his normal counterpart, Sonic has turning at the head. Although loose, it's at the shoulder as well. Elbow, 90 degrees. Wrist swivels. Um, there's the waist joint here. Legs go up that far and back that far. That's a nice range. Knees bend 90 and there's shoe turning also. Shadow's respective super form is given the same amount of articulation as Sonic in that he has all same articulations. But the joints are more quality on Shadow's figure than they are on Sonic, I must say. Knees bend 90 and same swivel. As you can see, there are white shoe bottoms instead of the normal red ones on the normal shadow. And now for Silver. Along with his change in sculpt, he still retains the same posability. So there, there. Although I may note that his shoulder fur isn't there like it is in the game. But 
as always, the articulation stays the same. Silver is a little bit chubbier than the other figures for some reason. I wonder why. Basically, that's my review of these figures. So, here are some ending notes. These figures make a really nice display alongside maybe your other Sonic figures, or if you're just a collector, you can, you know, pick these up. Makes a really nice set of figures to go with any other, like, famous video game characters. Well, in my collection, quote-unquote, I keep them pretty much alongside my Super Saiyans like Gohan. Dragon Ball Z and um, Sonic have a lot of continuities that are kind of the same, but I'm not gonna make any rumors about that. But anyway, these are nice collection pieces. They have articulation to boot, and there are a lot of accessories if you count seven as a lot, but. Chaos Emeralds. Who wouldn't want some Chaos Emeralds? They also react well to light, I'm surprised, but they're plastic. Not like the paperweights you see in a maybe a department store or something. But they're good. And if you want to, you can still keep them in the box and have a really nice display. But, as always, you've got to watch for errors with figures, because Jazzware's quality control seems to have some problems. But still, Sonic's pretty nice, I'm not going to lie, but he has the loosest joints of the three figures. So if you're going to go into Toys R Us looking for him, make sure you look for a Sonic that has the right things. And for warnings, I'm going to say that there's been a recent reissue of the Super Packs that don't have the white, they don't have the black eye lining. I'll show you with a picture of that in a minute, but that's really good because Sonic never had that black eye lining crap. But all in all, this is a great pack, and I give it a I give it a 9.5 because quality isn't always something Jazzwares works well with. But anyway, I'll give you a quick scale difference in a minute. Here it is. For scale reference, Super Sonic is alongside S Super Saiyan 2 Gohan from Dragon Ball Z and Noble 6 from Halo Reach. And Super Saiyan 2 Gohan is about 5 to 5.5 five inches tall to the tip of his hair. And Noble, Re Noble 6 from Halo Reach is about maybe s almost 6 inches. And Sonic is 3. So you think he's a good scale he's probably a good scale for six inch adult human figures so if you want to have some kind of scale in your collection I don't really worry about that but that's the reference you kind of want so thanks for watching and you know I'll get to work whenever I do so this is Pilot Tales signing off you should get these guys